Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Wise and Unreal Audio Implementation Guide Series. In this guide, we will outline a very simple use of the level blueprint to hook an AK node to a simple Wise one shot event that will be played once every time the map is loaded. First, we need to add consistent cinematic work units to the Master Mixer, Actor Mixer, and the event hierarchies. Also, we need to add a sound bank called SB underscore cinematic. Use chapter 02 as reference to set up the three master areas consistently with new cinematic content. Navigate to the audio tab, actor mixer hierarchy, default work unit, cinematic wise work unit. Right click, then select new child, actor mixer. Name it CIN underscore intro. In the general settings tab, output bus. Assign the cinematic audio bus. Also, in the General Settings tab, Game Defined Auxiliary Sends, tick the Use Defined Game Auxiliary Sends tick box. Drag in a one shot cinematic sting audio asset under the Actor Mixer. Place the asset under the File Importer Destination Path, SFX, then New Folder called Cinematic. Right click the audio asset, then select New Event, then Play. Navigate to the Events tab, then locate the new event, then rename it to SFX underscore CIN underscore intro. Right click the cinematic work unit, then select New Child Virtual Folder. Name it CIN underscore intro. Then drag the event into the new cinematic work unit. Save the WISE project updates. Then generate the sound banks. Check the new SB underscore cinematic sound bank includes the new SFX underscore CIN underscore intro content. Next, we set up the associated Unreal data. Again, we need to set up consistent cinematic hierarchy structure and add a new sound bank for the cinematic content. Refer back to chapter 02 for any assistance needed. In Unreal, navigate to the Content Browser tab Content, Audio, Wise underscore events, then SFX underscore cinematic folder. Then open the Wise Picker. Then in the Wise Picker folder path, events, then cinematic, drag the event SFX underscore CIN underscore intro into the new cinematic content folder. Double click the event to open the properties. Then assign the event to the sound bank SB underscore cinematic. Save the event updates. Then generate the Unreal sound banks. Import the sound bank updates via the pop-up message in the lower right of the Unreal screen. Open the test map that you're working with. Then drag in the SFX underscore CIN underscore intro event into the map. In the World Outliner tab, audio underscore SFX folder, create a folder called BP underscore reference. Then drag the SFX underscore CIN underscore intro item in the World Outliner list into the new BP underscore reference folder. Select the SFX underscore CIN underscore intro list item. Then in the Details tab, under AK Component Occlusion Refresh Intervals, change the value to 0.0. .0. Then save the map updates. In this step, we assign new blueprint nodes to play the event only when the map loads. Open the test map that you're working with. In the Unreal Central Toolbar, select Blueprints, then Open Level Blueprint. In the graph, right click next to the Event Begin Play node. Then select Audio Kinetic, Actor, then Post Event. In the Post Event node, change the AK event to SFX underscore CIN underscore intro. Then draw a line between the event begin play node and the post event node to connect the node chain. Then from the world outliner tab, drag the SFX underscore CIN underscore intro item into the graph. Then draw a line between the SFX underscore CIN underscore intro node and the post event node actor input. Mouse drag a box around the two nodes we have created. Then press C on your keyboard. In the comments box, add SFX, map, then intro. Click on the Blueprint Compile button, then save the Blueprint updates. 
Now boot up the map. As soon as the map loads, you should now hear the new SFX cinematic intro content. From now on, every time you boot up the map, you will now hear the cinematic intro SFX event.